Hi everyone, welcome to Cook Stacy Cook. In this episode, I would like to share my shrimp chow mein recipe with you. I make this dish for my family almost every week, and they always clean the plate. Sometimes I also make it when I have friends over for dinner, and they all love it. So I think you may like it too. Let me show you how I make it. Start by cutting half of an onion into large strips. Take the time to break them apart now. Then finally means two cloves of garlic. If you like to have more garlic taste for your noodles, you can use three cloves of garlic. Next, we will need four green onions. Chop the stem part of the green onion into small pieces, and cut the leafy part into two-inch sections. Keep them separate because we will use them at different times during cooking. We will also need some bean sprouts. For the shrimp, we will rinse them with water, and then pat them dry. Marinate them with salt, sugar, white pepper powder, a little bit of baking soda, cornstarch, and some rice wine. The white pepper powder and the rice wine help to reduce the fishy taste of the shrimp. If you cannot use wine in your cooking, you can leave it out. Mix the shrimp and the marinade together, and then add a touch of oil and sesame oil. Mix the oil with the shrimp too, and set them aside for 10 to 15 minutes. The last thing we need to prepare is a chow mein stir fry sauce. Mix dark soy sauce, regular soy sauce, and some sugar together. Stir the sauce until the sugar has dissolved completely, and we are ready to cook. Prepare a pot of water and bring it to a boil. Then add the noodle to the boiling water. How long we need to cook the noodle mostly depends on the thickness of the noodle. I am using fresh thick chow mein noodle today. This is most likely the thickest chow mein noodle you can find in the markets. I cook this noodle for 7 minutes. You may not have to cook it for this long if you are using thinner noodles. You can always taste a small bit of the noodles to see if it's ready. When the noodle is done, remove it from the water. And mix a little bit of oil into the noodle. This helps to minimize the noodles sticking together. We are now ready to stir fry. Add some oil to a hot pan over medium high heat. When the oil is hot, add the onion and bean sprouts to the pan. Stir them briefly so that they are coated with oil. And season them with a touch of sugar and salt. Keep stirring to mix the sugar and salt evenly. And then add a little bit of the chow mein sauce we prepared earlier. The sauce helps to give the onion and bean sprouts some color. Continue to stir fry until the color looks even. Then remove them from the pan. We don't want to overcook the onion and the bean sprouts. Now add a little more oil to the pan if needed and add the chopped green onions then to the pan. You want to have enough oil so the green onion can sizzle in the oil. Let the green onion sizzle in the oil briefly to release its flavor, then add the shrimp to the pan. Spread the shrimp out and let them pan fry until the bottom is slightly golden. Then flip them over and pan fry the other side. When the other side is also slightly golden, add the minced garlic and briefly stir fry the shrimp to release the garlic flavor. Then add a touch of dark soy sauce for color. Continue to stir fry until the color of the shrimp looks even. Then remove the shrimp from the pan. At this time, you probably have some oil left in the pan. We will use this oil to stir fry the noodle. Add a little more oil if your pan looks dry now. Add the boiled chow mein noodle to the pan and spread them out. 
Let them pan fry for about twenty seconds. Then stir them around and let them pan fry for another twenty seconds. We will repeat this process three to four times. You should see some bits of the noodle pick up a golden to light brown color. The goal here is to heat up the noodle and add more flavor at the same time. After pan frying the noodle, we can add the chow mein sauce to the pan. Then stir or toss the noodles so that they are evenly coated with the chow mein sauce. After the noodles are evenly coated with the sauce, continue to stir fry the noodle for about another minute. We are using the heat from the pan to bring out the flavor of the sauce. After stir frying the noodle, we can add some water to the noodle and cover the pan. Turn the heat to low and let the noodle cook until it absorbs most of the water. This process doesn't take long, so keep an eye on it. We do this because the noodle is thicker, and we want to cook the flavor into the noodle. It also makes the noodle a little softer in a good way. When the noodle has absorbed most of the water, remove the lid and turn the heat back to medium high. Now we can add the shrimp. Onion and bean sprouts back to the pan. We will also add the leafy green onion and some black pepper powder. Now give the noodle a few more toss to mix everything together, and we are done. Look at this shrimp chow mein. The noodle is soft and full of flavors. The shrimp is succulent and tasty, and the onion and bean sprouts are still crunchy. This is just so good, and I can't wait to dig in. I really recommend you give this shrimp chow mein a try. If you find this video useful, please share it with your friends and family. Let me know your thoughts about this recipe in the comments. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.